already know your boy is back again with another video. Now I know I told y'all boys I was gonna be consistent and I said we was gonna be back on ourselves and I know it's been a week, bro. Don't tell me. But it's all right, bro, we back. And as you can see by the title, your boy came back with a banger. You feel me? In today's video, basically I'm about to just be showing y'all my shoe collection. What we got going on so far, what we going into 23 with, you feel me? I'm also gonna just show y'all my room. Nothing crazy, some slight, you feel me? Make sure you like the video, make sure you sub. Yo, the first thing I'm gonna show y'all is my room, all right? I'm not gonna lie, my room is usually always mad neat, but lately your boy's been kind of slacking, you feel me? I be working so much, but it's all good because it's all gonna pay off soon. Me, the first thing we got is the setup, gang. You already know. You got the PC, the PS4. Yeah, I know I still got a PS4. I just don't feel like upgrading to the PS5. I just feel like there's no point, especially for the fact that I really don't be playing a game like that. But let me, let me show you with the light off, you feel me? That's what it's looking like with the light off. Nothing crazy right now. I only got it to the blue light. You feel me? Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. But you already know. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. My dresser is a mess right now. But you know, we got clippers, we got trimmers, all types of stuff. You already know we got cologne. I haven't even opened this. this is, I don't know. I just don't know if I'm gonna open that. We got glasses, you feel me? We got all types of stuff going on. Usually it's way neater than this. I don't know what's going on right now, to be honest. But like I said, bro, your boy is clean. We got the hair oils, the face cream. We got all types of stuff going on. Like I said, you got the colognes all up in here. We move on to my bed. Nothing crazy, something slight, something simple. Then I, I'm not gonna lie. Let me tell y'all, let me tell you about the lights. So the lights were going all the way around my room, all the way around, but then they fell down. I just do not feel like putting it back. Yo, look at the setup, though. Look at the setup, though. Y'all cannot tell me the setup is not clean. And then you already know I got all the hoodies, my work clothes, everything like that right here. Because you feel me. Bro, so y'all know the main point of the video by the thumbnail. Not only was it the room tour, but we also got the shoe collection game. I don't think y'all ready for it, though. Yo, matter of fact, stop what you're doing right now. Go like the video. Give me the 50 likes. 50 likes and I'm gonna drop another banger. Like, y'all think I'm capping? Jump kinda tough. You know what, matter of fact, like, let me, let me show y'all. Yeah! Shit hard, ain't it? <laughs> Jump's kinda clean. Kinda clean, you feel me? You feel me? Nah, the shoe collection is tough. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all rocking with it? What y'all gotta say? What y'all gotta say? These John's hard for real. You feel me? I got these for 400. These 250. I'll say these are about 300. 300 a piece. You know the all whites is a good five bucks. Five bands, my fault. Five bands. And then you already know everybody got the Nike slippers, bro. It's nothing but a band. Some slight, some slight, you feel me? No, I was just playing. I was just playing, y'all boys. Come on now, y'all should know better than that. Y'all should know better than that. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to see it? All right, y'all. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it off with the shoes that I guess you could say go from the lowest value to the highest. But at the same time, I'm not really doing it like that because I'm also doing it based off of which ones are my favorites and which ones I wear the most. So the first shoe that we got on the list are 2020 Air Max 90s Black White. Not gonna lie, these shoes are pretty average. I, I think they're about 160 retail, you feel me? But resale value is only about 130, 120. Nothing really too crazy, you feel me? These are just my work beaters. You but bro, believe it or not, Air Max 90s are not comfortable, bro. They hurt. All right, gang, so the next shoe that we got on the list are 2019 Vapor Max Plus Black Icy Whites. What was crazy is I actually really like these. I know that, bro, the lacing looks crazy, but when you actually put it on, they look better. Bro, by the way, if you tie your shoes, I don't care what shoes you have on. If you tie your shoes, you're just weird, bro. And I know, obviously, I know how to tie shoes, but bro, I just, all my shoes are like this. Retail, they're 210, but resale can go anywhere up to $300. So you'd be surprised, like Vapormax Pluses, let me tell you, if you've never put your feet in these, they're comfortable, but you're gonna be rolling your ankle now. If you can't walk, you're gonna roll your ankle now. All right, 
So look, the next pair that we got, just your old regular forces. Nothing too crazy at, at all. Everybody has to have a pair of these sitting in their closet somewhere. Like, you got to. No other way to put it. Like, if you don't have a pair of forces, then what are you doing, bro? People will fight you for these. Like, people go crazy over these. But when it comes to retail, retail price, they're only 110. Let me tell you. They've been going up because these used to only be like $85, 90 and now they're at 110 and just going up. The resale, can you believe kids resale be up to three to $400? Then you get into the men and it's only like 100. <laughs> so the next pair that we have are the Jordan 1 Mid SE Diamond Edition. This was actually the first pair of shoes that I bought when I started working at Foot Locker. They're not bad, but I feel like I just, outgrew them. I don't really wear them like that anymore. I put them on the other day for the first time in probably like three months. Honestly, they're really not bad. They look kind of weird on camera right now. I don't know. It's just probably the crease. But retail wise, I would say they're about 120. But resale, they can go anywhere up to two, about $200. The only bad thing about them, as you can see, is like the bottom, since it's that gum bottom, they get dirty real, real quick. To me, they still look good. Probably look better if they were the high disc, the OG. You know, mids, it just depends on how you rock them, to be honest. I rock with them here and there. All right, so the next shoe that we have is a Jordan 6 Midnight Navy. And I'm gonna be honest with you. These, these is, you feel me? These are definitely my work beaters. I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna keep it a bean. One, the bottom, like I said, it got that gum bottom, so they get dirty real easy. But on top of that, I just don't, like it's not my type of shoe. It wasn't my shoe, to be honest. Retail price, I think 200. Resell, they're not, they're not, they were not doing that good, but right now, they're shooting at about 250, 300. I really don't know why, like I just don't like these. I don't know. It's just not, it's just something that I'll throw on, but they're just, they just don't hit. Like, I just bought them to buy them. All right, so the next shoe that we got on the list are the Jordan Retro 7 Cardinal. Let me tell you, these just came out again. Jordan lately, he's just been coming out. They've just been dropping the same shoes that have already came out over and over. A lot of people want them because a lot of people back then weren't able to get them. These just came out again over the weekend. And honestly, I can say, I, this is actually the original pair. I've had these for a while. Don't really wear them. I don't even know the last time. I've, bro, it's probably been years since I've worn these. Look, bro, like, I haven't worn these in so long. Like, they're not, I don't know, they're not bad, but it's just, I feel like sixes and sevens are just not me. I don't like them. I just don't like how they look. The retail, 210, but a resale value could be anywhere from 200 to 300, especially with the fact that they just came back out. The next shoe that we have on the list, Key Dunk Low 2022 Halloween Edition Cauldron. I actually, you know what's crazy? Somebody returned these to the store and I really didn't know how I felt about them, but nobody was buying them. So this was just one of those impulsive decisions where I just went ahead and bought it, cause why not? I think retail punks are about 105, 110. This resale, they're sitting at about 150 right now. I don't know, I mean, like I said, if you know how to dress, you can really style them. And this was the shoe that I was talking about when I said like, I haven't even put them on. As you can see, they're still laced, how they were laced coming out the box. Personally, they're not my favorite and I've never even put them on yet. Tell me how you really feel about these. All right, so the next shoe that we have on the list, you feel me? It's one of my favorites only because I love Jordan 4s. Jordan 4s, man. They're my favorite shoe. Like, out of Jordans, they're definitely my favorite. The only thing with those is they hurt your feet, man. Like, these are not some shoes that you could go work eight, nine hour shift. Like, they hurt. Retail wise, they're sitting at 220. The resale, they're at about 400. A lot of people want these only because they couldn't get their hands on the black cap. They're pretty clean, they're simple. You know, you know how to dress, you'll get the point across. I don't really wear these too much, but I mean, here and there, I step out in them. And like I said, the only reason with these is they hurt. They hurt your feet like crazy, man. All right, so the next shoe that we got on the list, Jordan Retro 3 Fire Reds. These are definitely one of the, my most worn shoes. This was the shoe that I almost didn't buy. Those shoes come out on Saturdays, new shoes and whatnot. They come out on Saturday. They go through the whole raffle process, whatever, whatever. These shoes, we had my size left. And I just kept looking at them and I was like, yeah, that's just not a shoe that I will wear. It's just not for me. Red happens to be my favorite color. I tried them on, but yeah, they're not for me. Like they just don't fit me. 
I just went ahead and bought them. Like I said, there, it happens a lot. I just, I'll just go and get a shoe just to get it. Like I buy them just to buy them. I started wearing them, started putting fits together and whatnot. One thing about me is I dress real simple. I don't do too much. Put some fits together, whatever, whatever. And they actually like, I actually started to like them more and more. So like I said, these are definitely a pair of shoes that I definitely wear a lot. Like, they're, they're not bad. I definitely, I've grown to like them. Cause like I said before, I did not like these. Like I thought these were the ugliest shoes ever. You forgot to tell y'all the resale and the retail price for the fire reds the retail you're looking at about 200 resale it's anywhere between 250 350 right now the last shoe that we have on the list is definitely my favorite shoe out of this whole group the jordan 4 infrareds i don't know what it is about this shoe it's the colors but let me tell you man i, I love these shoes to death you could just look at this shoe and the colors just flow let me think about it. it's so simple so clean the infrared everything it just flows like definitely my favorite shoe anytime i wear these shoes definitely got a snap bro you cannot like bro definitely got a snap retail these were the same as the black canvas sitting at 220 for resale they're sitting at about 250 right now nothing too crazy none of the shoes i really have are like oh too crazy all of mine are pretty simple things that you can get like pretty easily but like i said i dress real simple so everything i'm getting i'm getting for retail i just don't buy shoes whenever i have to go and pay for them wait Stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. No, I meant to say, I just don't go and buy shoes unless I can get them for retail. Cause I don't, I just don't pay for resale prices because when I already know in my head how much they cost retail, and then you're trying to tell me to pay you 250 more than the retail price, like nah, bro, you got it. All right, so that wraps it up for the video, you feel me? Let me know if there's any shoes that y'all think I should cop so I can start adding on to my collection and whatnot. Obviously, obviously, as we get into 2023 and the year comes to an end, I'm gonna have more and more. So eventually, I'm gonna have an updated shoe collection video. Get this video to 100 likes, I'm gonna get an updated version of it. Don't even worry, like I got y'all, I promise you I got y'all. Right now, make sure you like the video, make sure you sub, turn on the post notice, and comment down below what you guys wanna see. Without that, I'm not making no more videos. Cause if y'all don't support me, then, you know, cause if y'all don't support me, it's all right, I got myself. I don't need you, I don't need that. But no, all jokes aside though, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And if y'all did, like I said, make sure you sub, make sure you drop a thumbs up, and I'm gonna holla at y'all in the next one. Thank you.